children and non-children and welcome to another video so today I uh, I have a bit of a subject I'd like to discuss with you so if you're part of the LPS community you may know that Hasbro has been making some questionable decisions regarding our beloved LPS well I'm here to discuss it and expose Hasbro for what they're doing so as you all know our beloved Generation 2, also known as G2 pets, have not been produced in stores for quite a while. These beautiful pets were the pinnacle of Hasbro's littlest pet shop line. They were beloved by everyone and still are to this day. But then, unfortunately, Hasbro went sis nah and brought out G3, also known as Generation 3, probably the most unpopular pet generation they've ever had. I do have a few Generation 3 pets, but all the ones I own I think are pretty cute, so I'm gonna try and find the ugliest one and put it on screen. Hasbro, what were you thinking? So around this time, many, many LBS channels started posting videos of them contacting Hasbro, asking them for the old generation of pets back. And we thought we did it. We thought we had won because they did bring some generation two pets back, like these ones on screen. Wow, look at them, they're adorable. But then Hasbro was like, sis, nah, for a second time and switched it on us again. Coming out with the Generation 4 pets. Some of these Generation 4 pets were actually pretty cute, but they possessed a special feature that made them questionably cute. <gasps> Decapitation. Good for horror movies, not so good for a cute pet. So, a lot of people were unhappy with this. So, Hasbro, once again, took the generation away and was like okay don't worry we completely understand you guys want pets where their heads don't come off okay we can do that one second bam enter generation five hasbro finally seemed like they were redeeming themselves and actually listening to what their collectors wanted they were super cute and very similar to generation two pets there were of course a few that were questionable in the way they looked, but in general, they were very cute. So, with the success of Generation 5, Hasbro thought, hey, we're gonna step it up a notch, and brought out Generation 6, also known as the current generation of pets. One of my personal favorite. I'd say about 90% of them were very, very cute. However, at the end or fourth quarter of 2018, things took a bit of a turn. Hasbro's design team decided to pour acid directly into their eyes and came up with this design, which I, I really don't know what to say. What is that? What is that? What is that? They also introduced a new pet toy to possibly rival LPS, known as Lost Kitties. Small, hard plastic cat pets that came inside Play-Doh. Lost Kitties are now being sold in every single store with LPS slowly diminishing. But that's not all. Hasbro now has a new toy to even further diminish our beloved LPS. And these pets are known as... Lockstars. Padlock style creatures such as this cat that come with little keys and a small little friend? Hasbro. When we said we wanted adorable animal toys, we meant LPS, not this. Ladies and gentlemen, the invasion has already begun. LPS are a dying toy and we need to help revive it. I know that there are many stores across the US that sell the new LPS, but us international fans are struggling. It's the great LPS drought. We are thirsty for LPS and we need Hasbro to take notice. 
Sure, these lock stars are pretty cute. I mean, look at that face, he's pretty cute. And sure, lost kitties are pretty cute as well. But they are nothing compared to our LPS. Like seriously, this poor cat has a hole in the middle of his face and you can open his stomach up and... What is this? This is animal cruelty, Hasbro. What are you doing? If these two pets had a baby, it would be this. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the current state of LPS. We're currently in battle with other Hasbro products, such as Lost Stars and Lost Kitties. But we must not lose. I propose we rally together troops and storm the Hasbro headquarters. We will not be silenced, and we will continue to love our LPS. We're coming for you, Hasbro. <laughs> uh... Hi, uh, are you okay? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. I'm just waiting for my part in this next video. <laughs> next video? Uh, th there is no next video. I mean, we're working on Love Hurts, but I don't believe I have you written in any of the scenes. Oh, well, Howard said I have a role in this next scene, so... Uh, I'm not too sure what's going on now. Ah, oh, dog, Howard's behind this? Uh, excuse me. And with that, I say, we will never surrender! Howard, what are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Just doing some filming. <laughs> Howard, you don't have the authority to film without my say-so or one of the senior crew members. And I'm pretty sure none of them gave you authority either. Uh, well, I was, uh, just, uh... Are you trying to start an LPS revolution? Don't be ridiculous, I would never. <laughs> really? Well, can you please tell me who the heck that is then? Yo, what's up? My name's Phyllis. My friends call me Philly. Like the steak cheese sandwich thing? Yeah, yeah, boy. <sighs> I think we need to have a talk. Trust me, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> uh, whoa, what's that? <laughs> Alright everyone, that's a wrap. We have all the filming we need. Thank you very much. Ugh. Yo, my name's Philly. My boys call me... Oh, what? Decapitation. Leonardo Decapitation. Achoo. Bless me. I was just sneezing out. This thing. Doesn't it look like a booger? Ugh.